What do you get when you combine ancient irrigation techniques like these Oyas with modern hydroponic method? Welcome back to Huchos. Today on Huchos, Oya Ponics. <laughs> so uh, I actually got this idea off Gardening Australia. I'll link the video below. And basically a bloke on uh, their show had invented a way of using, using Oyas uh, to raise seeds. Uh, he was uh, filling a middle uh, terracotta pot up uh, with water and in sand around the terracotta pot uh, which was filled with water he was growing his seedlings which he could then transplant into his soil garden now uh, to adapt this to hydroponics all you really need to do is uh, change the water to hydroponic nutrient and then you can use whatever medium you like around the outside of the internal oya uh, to propagate seeds or even grow plants. And this serves as like a slow release reservoir. So let's give it a go. First of all, we're gonna need to block the hole in the bottom of the internal pot. I'm actually going to leave the external pot's hole free um, so that it's free draining, so that the medium uh, stays moist but not waterlogged. So let's fill up the hole and throw in our media. So to block the hole, I'm just gonna use a 20 cent piece in Australia, or you can use uh, the relevant coin in the country that you're in. I'm also going to use uh, some non-toxic, preferably aquarium silicon, uh, because you won't get any of the nasties that you get in a lot of the household silicons. But uh, that's up to you. So I'll just coat the coin like that. Place it inside the pot. So you've got a seal. Now I'm just going to mix up my 50-50 perlite and vermiculite mix. So I've actually managed to get my hands on bulk amounts of uh, vermiculite and perlite as well. So it's cheaper this way. Um, and I've chosen a coarser grain. So I've got the finer grain stuff. Uh, in the smaller bags and the coarser grain stuff, uh, which I'll use at the bottom um, so that it, it drains better at the bottom. So I want to raise uh, the pot up to be about level with the top of the other pot. So to do that, I'm just going to put some vermiculite and perlite mix around the bottom. Lay it out like that. I really should be wearing a mask for this. <laughs> then I can just place the middle pot on top of the mix and then fill around it. And then I can fill above that with the fine 50-50 mix. <sighs> and it's ready for planting. So, <sighs> seeds. Hmm. Well, I really wanted to do basil, but it looks like we're going to do some dill, some spinach, and some rocket. 
So I'll do one third, one third, one third. So just sprinkle them on top. So they're spinach seeds. Now I might just throw a little bit more of the 50-50 mix over the top. So to start with, I'm just going to water the media um, and get uh, all the media wet. Uh, and then once that silicon has dried after about 24 hours or so, I'll then add water into the center um, and it can then start wicking out uh, through capillary action into the rest of the media. If there's any extra water, it will just drain into the tray under the pot. And now we can just leave it and See what happens. There you go. Another fantastic way to start seeds. Uh, I really like this method because uh, the reservoir only needs topping up every now and then. You don't have to continually, like day after day, go and run water uh, or hydroponic nutrient through your reservoir. And these seedlings, I'm actually gonna leave in this container because they're really happy and I want to see what size plants I can get out of them in such a compact growing area where I have the ability to keep the hydroponic nutrient uh, up to the roots of the seedlings or plants um, and directly feed them. So, exciting stuff. I'm going to chuck this back under lights and I'll see you in a future episode. Happy hydroponicking.